The first thing I think you need to understand is that these people that you're comparing yourself to, you don't really know very well. You know, and um, what that means is that you see their shiny outside, but you don't see the reality of their life. And so what you're... You know, maybe you're in California, see someone speeding down the road in a, in a convertible Porsche, and you think, oh man, what a lucky bastard. And um, the truth of the matter is that he's thinking about wrapping his expensive sports car around the next cement pillar that he comes close to. You know, you, you can't tell, and people have hard lives, and, and even people who are comparatively fortunate have hard lives. And so, the, the ideal that you're observing that makes you jealous and resentful is in large part an illusion that's created by your own mind. And I... You know, I, I can give you just one example. It's like I know a fair number of extremely wealthy people and um, most of them, most of the people I happen to know are people who've made them, their money themselves. And I tell you, man, they have a burden of responsibility that would, would crush me, would, would crush the typical person. They're, they're just working flat out, like 90 hours a week, and they have thousands of people depending on them. And, you know, they have their money, and, and they have their status, and that's not nothing. But don't be thinking that there isn't a price to be paid for that. You know, they don't see their families, they're often divorced, they don't see their children grow up. And, and they don't have time off. Now, there are wealthy, what would you call, playboy types, I suppose, who live out the dreams of wealth of a foolish 14-year-old, but they're not that common. And you have to be careful of what you're jealous of because you don't really know what it is. And, and then the other thing that's kind of useful is to, well, to understand that you're different from everyone else. And this is especially true as you get older. When, when you're 17 or 16 or something like that, comparing yourself to other people makes a certain amount of sense because 16 and 17 year olds, they're kind of the same, you know? Which is why when you go off to university, you can make friends so quickly. It's like, I'm, I'm just about 60. It takes me like 15 years to make a friend now, you know? Um, as opposed to the two months that it took when I was 17. Um, you're, you're quite different from other people and you shouldn't be comparing yourself to them because they're not like you, you know? They, they don't have your family. They don't have your temperament. They don't have your troubles. They don't have your abilities. The only person that... <laughs> the, only, the only person that has those is you. And this is why one of the rules, I think it's rule four, is compare yourself to who you were yesterday and not to who someone else is today. And see, that's a game you can win because you could be a little better today than you were yesterday. And that's a good thing. You're a little better, that, that's a good thing. And, and you know, no doubt there are some things that you could improve. You know, if you, if you sit and meditate for any length of time about what you're not doing optimally, answers